Hello everyone, Jill here again from downtown Honolulu. Um, today I want to talk about, um, I, the, I titled this, Aren't We All Narcissists in, in One Way or Another? Um, somebody, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, I don't know if I mentioned this, asked this part, but somebody said that I was a narcissist <laughs> with some of my answers, which, which is fair, whatever. I don't, as, as I said yesterday, it doesn't bother me. But then today I was talking to my sister who that's, I'm staying at her um, condo in Honolulu and we were just talking and um, she was telling me how, you know, I, I like to do video chats where I talk to other people and I, and I see, you know, I like to see them. I don't, I hate, I hate the phone. Um, but I like to see people when I talk to them. I have no problem with that. And she said, oh, she hates it. She hates to, to see herself on those things. And I said, oh, I, I don't mind seeing myself at all. And, um, and then I was telling her how um, ever since when I, when I got myself into shape and I exercise and stuff, I love, I love feeling like my, that I, I have muscles now. Like my whole life I never had muscles. I, and um, and I so I just like loved my muscles. She goes, oh, you are a narcissist. She was just kidding, but it got me thinking. I said, yeah, I am. Um, hi, Mar Mar Maurice. Um, it got me thinking though about um, we're all in one way or another. We really are all narcissists. In the I don't know what the actual definition is, but in the respect that we're all always thinking about ourselves in one way or another and you know as people who are potentially anxious it's even more so like all the all the talk about our symptoms and how we feel and and all that stuff it's it's a constant it's a constant thinking about ourselves um that, that that's just it's human nature hello michelle and andrea um it's a constant it's a constant thing that we, that's just part of being human that we're we, we're just constantly thinking about ourselves how do we feel um you know who said what to us you know because e even even when we say that someone's being rude to us or something like that it's thinking about ourselves it's it's not thinking about the fact that they're rude it's like it, it's like what does it mean about me right it's 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 always back to us Hi, Lisa and Sharon. We have a lot of people on today. Um, and so I just, that's just something to, to, to think about because that's what keeps us in our stories, right? The, the constant thinking about ourselves, the constant, how am I doing? Checking in, how do I feel? What am I thinking? Um, instead of just like going out and living our lives. Um, so we don't always know, like we think, People who think that they're, oh, I'm loving and kind and and I, I do things for others and stuff. Yeah, I'm sure you do. But also, there's the aspect of why do we do those things for others, right? Because they make us feel good. And, and, and so it's like, which is still fine too. It's, you know, it's still fine to do it for others. But also, you know, look at, look at the reasons. That's part of the reason why we're um, kind to others and we like to give or you know give big tips and things like that at a restaurant it makes us feel good and to be nice to others but it still it always comes back to us and there's nothing there's nothing wrong with it but it's just something to consider um, when you see somebody who seems overtly narcissistic you know is are there pieces of yourself that you see in them is that what bothers you about them um, nothing wrong with it again, but food for thought, as somebody said, just said below it as well. <laughs> um, all right, I think I'll end that. I'm going to go wander around downtown Honolulu for a while before I go up to my mother's and see how she's doing. She's, she's been doing not too badly while I've been here, um, but we'll see. That can change at any moment. Catch you guys maybe tomorrow. Bye.